How you guys doing? Uh, yeah. quick, one quick question on showing properties. You got a contract, you got a, a property on a contract. Um, how are you guys doing that? Basically the same way we always have. We just send the, the buyer out there to look at it. Yeah. Okay. So, I, and so right now, Ashley, you guys have no, no pushback. People, you know, locked down, can't go out, go anywhere. Um, the, I've had one person question it that I talked to this morning. Um, but they haven't even given me a contract yet. So I let them know that we do have provisions in place if that's a concern. What I recommended to someone yesterday is, you know, along with the lockbox you send out there, send a box of gloves and a box of masks with it. <laughs> <laughs> that the potential buyer has to put on before yeah. they go in the house, you know. Um, I would I mean, and honestly, in this kind of climate, it's not unreasonable to ask the potential buyer, hey, have you had any symptoms in the last two weeks? Are you currently sick? you know, and say, hey, you know, we'd like you to wait a, a day or two so you're symptom free before you go there. Right. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if that runs into any uh, equal housing opportunity laws. <laughs> um, probably with the coronavirus to... <laughs> thing, probably not. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I wouldn't think it would right now. I could just see Maybe. Yeah, that's the only thing. <laughs> I know I, I, we, we're getting deals, but I'm just thinking if I'm going to start marketing these deals, I mean, who? which buyers are out there looking and how do you go through that? I guess we'll figure it out. Okay. That's I would that. think some of them are probably going to want to, even the ones that are still living in the house, I would foresee them wanting to have the lockbox so that they don't have to be there, but ask that the buyer put the mask and gloves on so they don't just get their stuff all over. Right. So you guys send a lockbox out to the, the property? That's yeah. If get. it's someone, so we've got a couple situations. Sometimes if the owner is still living there, they'll just show the house for us. Um, or if they don't want to do that, we can send the lockbox and schedule appointments and tell them, okay, someone's coming at this time, just so you know. And we right. do get a, before we allow a buyer to go out, we do get a copy of their driver's license.